Hello, Steve White, Steve White's 89. Well, we have a rumour from the very reputable UK paper, The Sun. Apparently, Dabla Cody, the writer for Madonna's biopic, has quit because Madonna is difficult to work with. I'm sorry, did she not do any research on Madonna? Did she know nothing about Madonna before she took on the job? Of course she's difficult to work with. She's Madonna. Okay. Now, I'm not too bothered by this, actually, because I don't think Diablo Cody is a very good writer anyway. Two nights ago, I saw the worst film ever. Um, I was just trying to use up my data for the end of the month, and I watched the film Young Adult, um, which actually refers to the type of novels that this, um, this character writes. And I'm always attracted to stories of um, people who leave small towns and go back, because I left a small town and went back, and it was always difficult. There's always like a culture shock every time. And I watched it for that, and it was awful. This woman basically um, got out of this little small town. She became a writer, writing books in a book series that was created by somebody else. So she does the hard work of actually writing the stories, but the other person created it and gets all the credit. Now, she goes back to this town to win back her high school sweetheart, who's just had a baby. She got a message saying, basically, hey, here's my kid. So then she gets in her head to go back and try and break up his marriage and take, steal, steal him and get him back, even though he's just had a kid and he's happily married. Now, it's not some fun romantic comedy like um, My Best Friend's Wedding or something. It's just hideous. And she's just horrible. And she's a narcissistic, self-involved, um, just gross character. And there's nothing redeeming about her. And in the end, she, she makes a play for him at his um, child's, um, not christening, um, some, some party for the baby. I don't know what straight people do with their kids. Um, and she embarrasses herself in front of everyone. Then she sleeps with the most hideous actor ever, um, Patton Oswald, who is playing this um, kid that she sort of... I'm not going to go into the story. It's not relevant. But it's just hideous. And then she's having breakfast with his, I think, younger sister the next day. And she's saying, look, people here are trash. They're worthless. You got out. You're somebody. Take me to the city with you. And she's like, you're good here. So she's basically it's not like saying, yeah, you're trash too. And she leaves and she basically is writing her own story or something. And it's about just getting past all this sort of stuff. It's just so narcissistic and self-involved and... Hideous, and I thought, this woman is writing Madonna's biopic. I don't see that going well. Um, I really don't see that going well. So I really was not bothered when I saw this rumour, and it looked like she wasn't actually going to be um, finishing the project. So, yeah, so we've got the sun here, saying there's more drama going on, you know, behind the scenes than there is actually in the film. So they said they've learned that the writer has quit the project after finding Madge too difficult to work with. The pair spent weeks together last summer writing the movie, which is expected to take an in-depth look at the early years of her career. But Diablo, who won an Oscar for screenwriting 2007's Juno, which I still haven't seen, um, didn't see eye to eye on the final version of the film. Um, Madonna announced the project with Universal last September, and she said she'd be both co-writing and directing. But now her involvement is threatening to derail it. She didn't look too fussed today, though. Uh, she took a bunch of photos with... Um, I, can't, I can't pronounce his full name. Um, her boyfriend. Um, and they're going... They don't seem to have any real sources. There's no official statement or anything. It's just, you know, a movie insider said, Madonna and Diablo spent weeks working on the screenplay and made good progress, but Madonna is understandably very particular about how she wants it to be. She's a perfectionist, well we all know that, there's no scoop there. And because it is about her life, she's being very careful about how things come across. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm just sort of looking at this, is, is there anything in this that actually proves this is a real story, or are they just making it up because, you know, these papers make up stories sometimes? Diablo needed more freedom to be able to make it work, and ultimately decided she couldn't contribute anymore. So she wanted to write Madonna as a character, I guess, and write some sort of story, some sort of... Whereas Madonna really probably just wanted to tell her life and wasn't probably too interested in the narrative and trying to create a character out of herself and a story, which is probably what Diablo was trying to do. 
Universe, they said Universal Pictures knows it could be a massive earner for them, especially after the success of Bohemian Rhapsody and Rocketman. So they're searching for a new writer because, I mean, you can always have a new writer. You can't replace Madonna. She's directing it. She's co-writing it. She will have the last word. Unfortunately, Madonna's last word results doesn't always doesn't always go well. Sometimes she does need to listen to people uh, and collaborate, but she always thinks she knows better. And then you end up with films like Body of Evidence, where she had a huge problem with the director. She wouldn't do what he wanted. He wasn't happy with what she wanted, so he edited a bad performance from her, and she basically didn't deliver what he wanted, and the film didn't go so well. So this sounds a little bit like that, but not quite. Um, and like they said, Madonna doesn't need the money. Uh, she's not going to let the movie be made until she feels it's, you know, her, her voice and is authentic to her experiences. Um, Amy Pascal basically was saying that she can't imagine anything more thrilling than collaborating with her and Diablo, um, bringing the true life story to the screen. However, they are not expected to formally announce her departure until the new writer is on board. So Pascal's probably going to be a bit upset because she, apparently she got her on the project. If that's what it sounds like. Um, now they look at still looking at talking. Now they talk about actresses. They're looking at Brit Florence Pugh. I can't pronounce that name. P U G H. Uh, she was the most recent actress who Madonna was considering to play her. Although casting is on hold until the script is ready. Ozark actress Juliana Garner was also in the running. While Thirteen Reasons Why star Anne Winters has put out a public plea to get the lead. Now was that the actress who was making herself up? with makeup to look like Madonna in various um, stages of her career to try and win um, the role. Hmm. However, whoever it is, they had better be prepared to put up with Madonna's high standards. So, this is not a shocker. Now, is it official? No. Is there any proof that she's actually left the, the role and she's not working with her anymore? No. Um, was the script completed? Probably. So whether someone will rewrite the script and come in on the project, or whether she'll just step away at this point and let Madonna direct it, or whether this is just a whole bunch of hooey, because, you know, there's not a lot happening in, in, um, in the pandemic, so they're going to make up a few stories. I don't know if it's happening or not, but I'm not bothered by, by it, because I do not think Diablo Cody is a good writer. After seeing that film with Shelley Sutton, it was just awful. And... She could easily portray Madonna as this totally narcissistic, self-involved, heartless, self-serving character with no redeemable qualities. And I can, I can imagine, I can imagine, I, I saw that movie and I could sort of see her portraying Madonna that way in her personal life. And that may be true, but it still it wouldn't be what Madonna would want um, portrayed. She wants to be seen as a queen. She's very... Um, um, I don't have a good opinion of Madonna when it comes to um, her personal life because I've just heard too many bad things about her from people who've met her and worked with her or worked for her that I know um, and I've seen how she treats some of her fans and I just, I, I can't imagine she would allow a story to be made that really just showed her at her self-involved narcissistic best. Now it may work very well for an artist in a creative sense, because you have complete control, you do manage to create some brilliant things when you don't listen to other people sometimes. If you've got the right idea and you don't let anyone compromise you, you can achieve brilliance. But at the same time, if you don't listen to people and you're going the wrong direction, you're just going to, you know, plow it into the ground. So I don't know what's going to happen with this movie. I don't know if it's going to be any good. I mean, films like Rocket Man and Bohemian Rhapsody, they were made by people outside of um, the performer themselves. The idea of now, see, it's a very um, contemporary woke idea that to have, you know, Madonna do write and direct the film herself and to be her voice, and I, I can see just the push for this and the marketing for this. But um, is it going to be a good film? Is that going to help it be a good film? Is it going to help? I'm not sure. Um, Madonna did do a good job of directing We, despite all those weird little separate camera shots like someone else was observing them like the media or something i didn't quite understand some of the direction there but um ultimately the directing the acting was really good um the way she directed her actors the performances she got out of them was really good but i wasn't quite i kind of understood some of the criticisms that it was shot too much like a music video or like um a fashion um 
I'm not even going to go into that. But um, I don't know. I don't know. Is she a good writer? I don't know if she's a good writer. Um, just because you want to be in control of everything doesn't mean you're actually the best person to be doing it. So, I don't know. Madonna is going to have the last say. Either she won't compromise, the film won't be made, or she won't compromise and the film will be bad because it doesn't serve any of the um, things that the film would need to actually, you know, give people a good experience. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, part of me is happy Diablo's gone and the other part of me just senses doom. But um, I don't know. I don't know if this film's going to get made and if it's going to be any good or not. Um, but this is very interesting and I'm wondering if it's true or not because it might just be a rumour. But I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Do you think the film's going to get made? Do you think um, Diablo's even walked away from it? Do you think Madonna will be difficult? Um, as in difficult to a point that she can't be worked with, let alone just being regular difficult. I don't know. I'm going to go. Bye.